Hello there and welcome to my first tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use Protus and uh, uh, how to make the power supply given out uh, outputs 5 volts, 12 volts, make 5, make 12 using all the regulators 7805, 7905, 7812, 79, uh, 7912. Uh, this is the schematic of the power, uh, of the power supply. Uh, that's the output. Volt uh, we usually get from uh, from home or anywhere. Uh, it's 20 at 120 volt AC. Uh, we by using the transformer we step it down to 18 volts. Some uh, transformer according to its the number of coils and inductance uh, can can be used to uh, step it down less than that. Uh, then using a rectifier or a bridge. Uh, we clamp the circuit. We only get the positive sign or the negative sign of it. As you can see, the difference here we had uh, a, a we had a sine wave. Now uh, we just had uh, the positive the positive wave on uh, or a negative wave. We can you will see it on this graphic. Uh, then we smooth the circuit uh, by using a capacitor. Uh, it's a charging uh, charging it's a charging into a regulator. The regulator will clamp this uh, clamp the signal into uh, the into the voltage uh, required, like seven eight zero five. We just get the five volts. So this is how it's done. Uh, this is how it's done. The uh, we get our DC volts. Uh, I've already uh, drew this, this uh, schematic. Yet. I'll show the devices you will uh, you you require to view um, the V sign. Uh, the bridge. Like this one. Uh, and our regulator seven in zero five. This one. Seven and twelve. This one. Seven nine zero five seven and twelve our transformer. Oh, we will just use a simple transformer, but the one you are, you will uh, mostly get the center tab. Uh, you just uh, better to connect it with the ground right here. What's all about? It's uh, three o'clock. Next, we use the. Uh, we set up all the our uh, output volt. Uh, the amplitude we, uh, we usually get is 120 with 50 frequency, 50 hertz. Uh, that's our transformer. That's the primary coil, and that's the secondary coil. After coupling it, I get the secondary inductance will be used 13.2 milli henry. Those are uh, AC voltmeter. In, uh, in order to check everything is going fine as expected, um, we connect those other AC pins or the bridge, which was the rectifier. Uh, you can connect it. Uh, this one and this one is the same. Um, this is the positive pin of the DC signal, and this is the negative, uh, negative signal. Those are the, our regulators, 7805, this one, 7812, 7905, it's written already here. Okay, uh, what actually happened, I've connected the positive pin, uh, the positive pin of the rectifier with, uh, uh, with the positive regula uh, with the regulators, I will get the positive sign off, uh, which will start with 78. That's uh, seven eight is our digits, which you know, which indicates the the sign of the uh, the volts uh, volts I get, and uh, the last two digits uh, indicates the the volt uh, the output volt. Um, I've connected the positive 
to the input of the transformer. Uh, we put, we, uh, we use it. Uh, we use a capacitor, a polarized capacitor, um, to smooth uh, the circuit and to connect the the polarized uh, gr uh, ground of the capacitor to the ground uh, to the ground pin of the regulator. Um, yeah, here we go. It's better to uh, it's better to uh, use a, a more than one capacitor. Just here, I already like so. So nice there. You can complete it by yourself. Uh, just like this. Microfarad. And uh, here we go. We got the um, the output voltage, uh, five volts, twelve volts, negative five, negative twelve. If you want to use a potentiometer, then you have to extract it from here. It's Yeah, this one already, I'm already using it. You connect the, the, the pins of the potentiometer, the variable resistor. Uh, what's about uh, the variable resistor? Um, you can control the the voltage uh, you uh, the vo the output volts you will get from the regulator, and it will be showing it as you can see. Now I'm using fifty percent of uh, the, the output volts uh, of the output of the regulator. That's hundred percent and. Yes, and person you can decrease it from here. And yeah, you can put uh, the others. The other potential uh, Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next video, I will show you how to be, uh, how to use this uh, schematic in order to convert it to a PCB layout. Thank you.